Well, you're very welcome to another vlog. And uh, this time around, I'm in the Isle of Skye and we are here on a holiday uh, with a little bit of photography thrown in um, for the next uh, seven or eight days. Now, we flew from Dublin very early yesterday morning um, to Glasgow, hired a car and drove up uh, through Glencoe. And if you haven't been to Scotland before or if you haven't driven that road, it is uh, probably the longest stretch of continuously awe-inspiring scenery that you're likely to see anywhere in the world. It really is a sight to behold. And the weather yesterday was conducive to photography throughout the day. There were heavy showers and rainbows and splashes of light uh, in the glens and on the hills. Um, but our focus was to get to Skye. And although it's a four and a half hour drive from Glasgow or so, um, it takes a long time because you are continually stopping and looking and slowing the car down and just taking it all in. Um, but we arrived at Sky uh, yesterday evening and it was quite overcast. I took a few um, shots here at the rapids that just are upstream from the Sligigan Inn, uh, a lovely hotel uh, where we're staying for um, the next two nights. And after that, we're going to uh, head over to the Isle of uh, Harris and Lewis for four nights. So uh, I hope you stay with the video and join me as I take some photographs and pray for a little bit of uh, good light. Um, so I'm just going to leave this opening segment with some of the images I took uh, yesterday and they're very sparse. It's only here and there stopping by the roadside and this morning shots of the uh, rapids here. But this morning we've headed down to the wonderful Elgol and it truly is magical and we were very lucky as we drove down to the harbour and um, the Black Killen Mountains uh, were uh, not covered in mist. Uh, even though the journey across uh, we didn't even think that the boat would go because it was very uh, foggy and uh, drizzle all the way uh, across just until we got down to the harbour. So we were thrilled to bits with that. I took a couple of images um, on the actual pier um, because I knew I wasn't going to get those mountains uh, clear um, uh, for the full day. And then we took a lovely boat trip um, out to Loch Carisk. You feel the majesty of nature in a place like this. And, um, and if you're coming down to Elgol, um, consider taking the boat trip out because although the, uh, the composition and the images along the boulder uh, beach um, at Elgol. It, it's the standard image of Elgol. But to come into those mountains, that's part of your image, and to feel part of the, just the grandeur of the mountains around here uh, is really something special. So on to the next location, uh, I leave you with a couple of the images from Loch Carisk.
Well, I'm persevering with uh, the area around Sligigan this morning and I'm standing on the old bridge, uh, which is an incredible uh, feat of engineering in itself. And the hotel, and I'll just, uh, this, is, this is lazy photography at its best. So that's where we're staying, the Sligigan Inn. Um, and it's literally a 20 yard walk over to the bridge here. And the last uh, couple of days, uh, we've walked both sides of the river. Uh, on this side of the river, as I point the camera there, it marks the end of the Red Coolin range of mountains, which are, are more for uh, hill walking, um, but serious enough hill walking. And then to the right of the river, uh, you'll see uh, in cloud here, um, are the Black Coolins, and they're a different ball game altogether. And the Black Coolins are uh, renowned as being some of the toughest uh, Munros and uh, peaks in the UK. Um, so the river here and the glen in Sligigan, as I uh, pan the camera back to the centre of the glen behind me, splits the red and the black coolins and we've just been pottering up both sides of the river. On this side of the river towards the black coolins, there's some lovely little rapids uh, which make a nice foreground, keeping the river uh, between the camera and the Coolin Mountains, mostly the red coolins on that side. And then on this side, there's a nice walk into the glen. So I've just moved 20 or 30 yards um, towards the main road here and there are cars whizzing by very uh, close um, but this image is the standard image at Sligigan and it's a beautiful image as you can see the old bridge and um, I think that's Marsco in the background a van just went by there I nearly hit my vlogging camera but uh, I, we'll march on anyway and I'm going to take this shot again very simple I put the polarizer on this time just adds a little bit of richness to the water in the scene and uh, also with the two-stop uh, soft grad. This is actually a much more pleasant shot. The shot from the old bridge is just up the river in the mountains. It's a wilder shot as such, but including a man-made structure, particularly when it's such a pleasing man-made structure as this, uh, an ancient bridge. And this is where the fair in the uh, 18th century started at Sligigan, and people gathered from all around um, to, to the market here. So I'm going to take this photograph and we move in. I'll put it up on screen and I'll also put the one uh, of the Sigigan River uh, without the bridge. So that's taken from this old bridge here. And it'd be nice just to compare the two. I'm not far from the traffic passing by the Sligigan Hotel. You enter a glen and the sense of peace and grandeur um, here is really fantastic. And um, I'm much happier to be here. I think the compositions back at the bridge are better photographs. But uh, with regards to enjoying landscape, um, this is the place to be. Um, and it brings on a sense of calm in yourself. So let me just pan the camera around and I'll just show you uh, the scene uh, before me. I've climbed up on a mound so I had to go down through some boggy patches. I didn't bring my wellies typical and uh, so the feet are, are pretty wet um, but I came up on this mound uh, with the intention of shooting the mound in front as a foreground, a very subtle foreground um, but something, a, f a feature within the, the heatland um, that's very difficult to find. It's the same problem I have back on the Sally Gap in Wicklow. Um, you get wonderful cloud formations. Uh, back on the Sally Gap, there's no mountains like this chap here, um, but it's difficult to find a feature in the heathland, um, unless it's a little pool, a little rock pool, or some quite distinctive rushes or grasses. And it's the same problem here. Um, uh, obviously the, uh, the, the mountains here, I'm still waiting for this chap uh, to be cleared of uh, cloud. But just coming back to the scene in front of me, I've made sure uh, my tripod is level um, and I'm using about 100 mil uh, focal distance. Um, I'm panning around getting about six or seven shots. Um, focusing on, you'll see there's a little uh, widening of the Stigigan River 
just here and I'm really zooming in on that and having that in the center of the panorama um, just to provide that focal point uh, rather than the mound here. I'm using a longer focal range. Uh, we're gonna do a little tour of the island and then we're getting the ferry from Uig uh, over to Tarbot and onto the Isle of Harris. Um, so until then.